Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. To the continuation of the previous video, where we have discussed the end-to-end -end project step. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to work on one real-time end-to-end project, which we'll be dividing into four parts. The first part we will discuss about the requirement gathering and the data collection. So every video will be of each part which will be concentrating on the complete end-to-end -end report. To start with, you work with any project, any client, the steps which we have already discussed in the previous video. If you have not watched the previous video, uh, we recommend you to watch the previous project steps and then come back here. Now, as a part of any project, the first thing you have to remember is the requirement gathering. So requirement gathering is very important. As we have discussed, the requirement may come in the two documents. One could be business requirement document or it could be functional requirement document. Some of the clients maintain two documents, whereas some of the clients maintain either one. When I say business, it will have the actual business use case and what exactly needs to be done. Functional requirement will have the functionality that is involved or some of the calculations they are uniquely following in their approach. That is something that will be mentioned. Now, in order to uh, keep it confidential, the client name is hidden. So we will be getting a requirement in assemble a sales report with a different visuals to best show the sales insight in one page dashboard. Feel free to use your imagination to best present your data. Now, whenever you get the requirement, you need to dig into the database or any of the database objects and get the data. Or you may be having the data engineers or SQL developers who can help you to get the data. Sometimes the client may give you the actual data or sometimes they may ask you to uh, dig into the database. It's up to the clients. Now, for this project, we have got the data in different way. One they are giving it from Excel, one they are giving from CSV, and some of them they are giving from database. There is a three to four data sources that has been used for this project. Now, this part they not always give it. it depends on the client. If the client is very much focused on the data, they will give you. If they are not focused, they may skip this as well. But it's your responsibility to get the right data from the right data source according to the requirement. Now coming to the task one. Every task is being mentioned as part of a points. So this is something which you have to complete as part of the requirement gathering document. Now. Let's go one by one. What we are discussing is a requirement document. Create a mechanism to load all the files. For example, today you may be getting four files. Tomorrow, what if you get the fifth file or if you are removing some file, your actual report should not affect. That is what is this requirement. Now, when I say requirement, for example, you may be having you may be having you may be having the data in this format which is 2014 sales 2015 sales 16 sales 17 sales each one is of different folder if someone is asking you any new data 2018 data or 2019 data how it is going to respond to the report that is something which you will be doing it now coming to the system and you have some data modelings which has to be implemented data modeling is required as part of a relationship between the tables and the mapping tables and they're asking uh, to generate a unique key for one of the table and they're also asking to do some of the additional data cleaning and this is a um, again they're asking to create one date master and these are all the DAG functions which they have asked us to do. 
So this tag functions will help us to find out the revenue profit as such. Sometimes this calculations you have to do it. Sometimes it depends on the clients who will give their calculation. And this is a report we need to build. And they're also asking us to find year to date, month to date. And they have asked to create the best report with the best measures and calculations. This is a requirement document we can call it as a brd or frd remember one thing if you are working in a project it's your responsibility to ask this document before starting any project every project should have brd and frd so that it covers the entire requirement right from the beginning till what has been told every information will be documented this is the first step now they are telling us where the data is being brought from. Now let's go and load the data one by one. I have opened the Power BI desktop. Let me go and get the data first. Let me go and get the data first. Let me go and get categories, which is a dimension table, and let me load it. Now this is the first table which I am bringing. For every data, Excel data, maybe you will be finding one table format or one uh, Excel format. Let's load one. Now, this is a just a simple dimension, which is just going to give one for special, two for general. Load it. Now, once this is loaded, go to the next data. In the next data, there is something called geography. So load this geography. So if you see the geography data, you have the country, town and Wikipedia link. But unfortunately, this uh, the column address is also been a part of a row which needs some type of transformation. We will look into the transformation later part. First, we will load the data. Next, I'll be going into sales rep. So sales rep is a table which consists of all the sales representative of each and every person who has made the sales. There is a problem with this as well. The sales rep has been added as a row, which I will go and correct it later. I will load it. Now, once you have loaded sales category and geography, there is a product information. Product information can be brought from your CSV file or from the database. So let's make it um, getting the data from database. This product information is present in my MySQL DB, which is having the product ID, subcategory ID, color, product name, which is coming from my retail DB. So how to get this data from your database? It's the next question. So for this, what I'll be doing, I'll be going and getting the data. And this time I will get the data from my database. So which is a database? This is a database and the database which I'll be connecting is MySQL DB. So once you connect to the MySQL DB, it is going to ask you the server details as well as a database server details. You'll be able to find it's a local host. So my database is installed in my local host. In the real time, this server will be like some IP of the server. Or it could be like, for example, ksr.net.in. Something will be there as a service, server address. But now, since I've installed in my personal machine, it's a local host. And coming to the database, there are different databases that is available in my system. The one which I'll be using is retail DB. So retail DB. So I again repeat, this server is something which I've installed in my personal system. That's why it's localhost. In the real time, this will be the actual IP of the where the database is installed. Remember that. Now I click OK. The moment I click this, whatever the tables that is available here will be shown. Will be shown. I think I've chosen the wrong database. I'll go again. I'll go here. I'll go to database. I'll go to MySQL database. Server, I will give localhost. And database, I'll give retail DB it is. Initially, I typed TB. 
it is db so database now i'll click okay so there is a product table that information that is exist if you see here this is the only table that exists in the retail db only the product information and this is a records which you're seeing and this record i'll try to import it to my power bi so this is coming from csv this is coming from csv excel and this is coming from database let me go and rename it let's keep it only product and there is a sales rep now let's go and get the data this time i'll go and get the subcategories now subcategories also i'll i'll get it into my system now the final part is sales the final part is sales dimensions i have loaded everything and product information i have loaded from the database directly and now we have something called sales information now you tell me the approach how to do it now this is actually in the csv format so we can load one by one csv fold file but is it recommended no why in case if 2018 2019 2020 if you get three new files you can't always go and merge it again and again because that requires some extra effort what we will do is we will try to do a automation when i say automation any new data that is coming into this folder automatically the report has to get updated for this what type of report we can do is rather than reading one one file i am going to read the entire folder so if you want to read csv you have to read it four times and you will be getting four files here then you have to go for a merge operation or maybe append and you have to append it that's a bit um, risky so what i will do i will go to the get data and this time i will choose a folder and i will give the entire path as a folder so in this sales i have four files now i'll click ok now this is a metadata metadata is a data which is having the information about the data but not the actual data this is not the actual data but it consists of the information about the data now we have one more option called combine so if you want to transform you can click this combine and transform but first we will load it then we'll go with the transformation now i'll click this combine and load now once you click this combine and roll this is the first file which you're seeing in this file you will be seeing the records as part of the sample then i'll click ok now you see here now you see here we have category we have geography we have product we have sales we have sales rep and we have subcategory all this information is something which we will be doing as part of the project now as in then the first step is requirement gathering and data collection data collection is something as then then the clients will give you or your data engineers in your team will give you or if you are working for any startup as a small company only where you will be the only power bi developer it's your responsibility to dig into the database and get the data so requirement gathering please make sure every business will have brd and frd business requirement document and functional requirement document business requirement document is mandatory functional requirement document is optional one requirement document will be present to maintain to maintain all the information about the business right now we have brought all the data into our power bi desktop each and every data try to understand so one two three four five so this five tables becomes a dimension tables and one becomes the fact table now if you clearly observe this is a very straightforward table one means special two means general if you come for geography this is also very straightforward information where um it is a country town and link uh, but what happens uh, this requires lot of correction because this has to move to the header that is the only one correction and coming to the sales rep sales rep is also something like where you will be having the sales represented id and the name and if you come for the subcategory 
this subcategory will have the id 4 but this you remember it is coming from the category table but unfortunately in categorical table it's one and two but here it is id underscore one id underscore two this requires some correction now the main table if you see sales table so this sales table is having all the four files of data which we are getting and it is having all the product sales rep id if uh, id and uh, dates and units if you remember sales rep id is starting from one and ending with seven but if you go with the sales rep table it is starting with id underscore id iphone id one and id id iphone seven so that means this reads a correction always remember when you are joining two or more tables the common column is important so this common column is not there so that we have to make some changes and coming to the product information so product information i have a product key which is a number and even in the sales also we can see that product id is number but one correction which i would say here is remember one thing remember this as a thumb rule in a dimension table there should not be any duplicates like here the id 10 is repeated and id 7 is repeated which is having the exact same values dimension tables should not have any duplicates now what we have done in this part one we have gathered the information we have loaded all the table now our next step will be going into the transformation layer and doing some calculations which has been asked in the requirement so for this we will see in the next video so every video in this playlist is going to be sequential so we request you to watch everything from the beginning like we have already covered the project steps and this is going to be the first part and we will be seeing the second part where you will be doing all the data transformations as well as the data modeling and we'll be writing some calculations so this is something which we'll be seeing in the next video please subscribe if you have not subscribed and we will be meeting you in the next video thank you